we have a case of James Bond archives from Rittenhouse. Uh, this is a hit draft sponsored by Blowout Cards. Thank you as always to Blowout Cards. And it is getting late, so let's get cracking. And I hope for uh, all EL autographs. Now there are a ton of different um, in, I'm going to call them inserts. They're all different kinds of uh, really like subsets. Uh, this is our case topper. I'll show it to you in a second. First time I've broken a James Bond product. Fan of the movies, just never got around any of the products. Okay, case topper. This is a Spectre card, Daniel Craig. Yeah, with those Star Wars breaks, I actually had a lot of fun doing the Masterworks ones. First one. Okay, so there's only 8,500 boxes. This is box 3,056. I don't know if they pack them in order. Uh, so I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the numbers. No, that's 2,054. So the big, the big things that we're looking for is there's going to be a bunch of uh, gold parallel cards to all the different um, types of sets. Um, there's two autographs per box. And I'm looking at these cards. So, all right, so this first one is all Quantum of Solace, which is the, um, let's go back to the checklist. That's the main uh, base set, I believe. And then there was uh, yeah, Goldeneye, Skyfall, Spy Who Loved Me. So we do have, you know, a couple of different. Uh, the top it is not numbered as in serial numbered. No, uh, it is um, CT one. So case topper one. That uh, looks like, yeah, so this is a Spy Who Loved Me throwback. Sometimes they do. It's, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know unless, uh, that's one. I think it's kind of, you know, if they do or don't, I think it's completely random. I don't think it's something they overly advertise. Uh, you only live twice, throwback. Uh, this one is glossy. All right, we got a gold here. All right, so a minute. Uh, you know what? The, the gold is not glossy. It was throwing me off. These are all... Uh, we'll just <laughs> make sure Quantum of Solace. Okay, so we have ourselves. This is Quantum of Solace gold of card number 62, and they are serial numbered. This is 42 of 125. We got Spy Who Loved Me throwback. I'm just gonna keep this one pile for sort them out later.
And I uh, hope everybody saw I posted in the thread uh, for this break that I will not be around tomorrow or Friday. Um, I will get scans up and you guys can pick, please do, but I will not be around to do an actual draft clock and I won't be able to, I won't get a, a draft list of my own together until, um, you know, so now here's a golden eye. I don't want to, I'm definitely going to have to sort through these cards to get all the different subsets out. Probably easier just do them upside down. Golden eye again. Right, just about halfway through the first box. We have not hit our first autograph yet. Whoop, change that. There's one in here. Alright. And as usual, like I said, I'll make you guys wait until a little more of the table. Throwback. Just want to make sure I don't miss any. Uh... Any of the golds. Okay, this is a golden eye gold card number forty five and ninety five of one twenty five. This is one of the Skyfall cards, DL25. You can see silver foil. Like I said, I'm definitely going to need to go through these after we break it all to make sure I don't miss any any golds or any of the different. Subsets. Spy who loved me. Three packs to go, counting the one in my hand. We still have uh, an autograph to go, and uh, thought we were do some another gold. I might have missed it. Uh, wait, autographs work to a box, won't they? All right, yeah, there's a autograph. I'm going to just 
like golds and the autographs. I'll keep that. I'll, I'll have to. I'll sort all these later. Box one is done. Okay, I'm just gonna go against the checklist real quick here, just to make sure. Um, Rittenhouse doesn't usually put plates in their product. All right, so we got uh. No. Right, let's see, because this one is different. All right, so we got uh, this one's not listed as having. It doesn't have a designation on it. This is A two fifty nine. Christopher Bowen is our first autograph. Okay, and the next we got under the full bleed, and this is a VL of uh, Lizzie Warville. All right, box number two. Now, I thought that when I was looking at the odds that you were supposed to get one gold of each of the... I thought they were all 1 in 24 packs. And, I mean, I very well could have missed them, but I don't think so. But the... Because um, the base, it's the gold is 1 in 24 packs. Gold and I, gold 1 in 24 packs, which we did. Oh, Spy Who Loved Me doesn't have gold. Okay. That's what was throwing me off. Okay. Yeah, that uh, Avengers case was much better than the first one. So we are just going to be pulling out the golds and the autographs. We'll do the rest later. Okay, there's golden eye gold, card number three, serial number 50 of 125. So, uh, are there any autographs in particular that uh, anybody's looking for besides, you know, maybe getting a Roger Moore or a Halle Berry, uh, George Lazenby? I mean, I guess there would probably would have been a spike in Christopher Lee's. Yeah, that it was Tony Stark and Hulk, a double. Um, Uh, of the memorabilia costume cards. That's our Skyfall. Now with the Skyfalls, there was two different. <laughs> okay, so it's heroes and villains, and then danger. Okay. Still need another gold and both autographs. Okay, there's our gold card number thirty six. This is Quantum of Solace, eighty four of one twenty five.
But typically in uh, in Rittenhouse products, you usually will get. Well, I mean, I don't know how with the number of boxes how it comes out, but you know, at the minimum, if it's a if it's a high production, you'll get two ELs in a case. I mean, we could get um, four or five if uh, with the production being low. I didn't do any math to see how many ELs roughly you should get. Also, without knowing, you know, oh, Christopher Lee might have signed ten cards. I, I don't know. All right, we got it. All right, got our first autograph. It's a, a full bleed. Autograph number two. <clears throat> oh. We got two golds, we got our Skyfall expansion, and we got two autographs, so unless there's any bonuses, there will not be anything else in this box. I haven't had a chance to watch any breaks, so I couldn't see, um, you know, what people are averaging out. All right, so we'll do our 40th anniversary first. Now I can see who we got here. And again, he's not listed, doesn't have a designation. This is a Carl McChrystal. Uh, I haven't, I haven't submitted for it, so I probably won't. Um, I probably won't get to it until the weekend. Uh, okay, this one's just a limited. This is a Madeline Smith. And uh, the pack draft for the Marvel Retro. Um, I was talking about it in the uh, in the other video for uh, when I was doing the Avengers case. Basically, if you look, I did a couple of cases of it uh, for 2013's Retro. There's so many different types of cards that it's it's just way too difficult to try and sort it out and come up with a, a good system on you know how to do a, a like a hit draft like a, like we normally do with non sports. So it just is actually easier to do it as a pack draft. So what'll happen is I open up all the packs, I keep them separated by their pack, and then uh, just like how I list all the hits and scan them, I'll do the same thing except I'll say Pack one had this. I'd scan a hit if there was one, straight on through to pack 120. And then when you when it's your turn to pick, you'd say I'll take you know pack 30. You know whatever pack uh, whatever pack you choose. And then, you know, after we get that first case under our belts, right, we got our two autographs already. Now we're just opening up for if there's any extras or gold or the Skyfall card.
Like I said, I wish I had a chance to look at some breaks to see if anybody had been getting any extra autographs. Okay, here is our GoldenEye Gold card number 50 <clears throat> and 17 of 125. Yeah, the big thing will be, you know, with uh, this year's retro, will be, you know, getting those golds. Okay, here's our Quantum of Solace gold, card number one, so that's nice. And 24 of 125. All right, so we have a Skyfall that we're waiting on. And uh, there it is. Now you, I open them, and then you pick what you open. So I mean, it's still, it's just like a hit draft. It's just instead of picking an individual card, you're picking, you know, the five cards that come in the pack. So you get your one hit plus the other, you know, common cards. I mean, if you pick them before, uh, before I open them, you might as well just uh, open up a store and sell, and sell, sell the packs. Then there's no advantage to having the number one pick or the, you know, number 120th pick. But I think if the um, if the set, you know, if it opens up well like the 2013 did, and the price stays about where it is, um, I'll I'll be able to do probably five cases of that. Thinking what they told me, they could probably a lot for us to do as, as the breaks. The price, I mean, right out the gate, the price is a little high compared to what 2013 was, but you know, it's not uh, it's not too too bad. And I guess since you're only buying a pack, and the so the the spot cost isn't so bad, it makes it easier to swallow. It's not like uh, that prospect rush thing everybody's been going crazy about with, you know, two hundred dollars spots. Okay, so nothing extra in that. All right, let's check our autographs. So we got ourselves for the uh, 40th anniversary. This one's just a limited. Jesus Achoa. And then our 40th. Are they all women? <laughs> it's been women so far in all these. Uh, Alright, and this is no, not her. Why am I not seeing? Oh, I'm still looking at the 40th anniversary. Okay, this one's a limited also. Carolyn Monroe.
I don't do I don't do really do sports anymore except for uh, I'm doing football this year only because of, I mean you guys all know my name Ian Fisher my son's name is Jake and uh, in the second round this year the um, the Bengals drafted a kid Jake Fisher out of Oregon not my son but you know just because of the name we became fans so. When we see his, when we see that he's in some product, we uh, we'll buy the singles out of that. So, you know, if I if he turns out to be in a product that somebody does a group break of, I'll uh, I'll get into a, into breaks of that. But with that stuff, I mean, I was thinking about some of those high risk uh, or high risk low price. But however, Houdini had worded it, um, where it was like nine dollars a spot. I'd, I'd give it a shot. What the hell? Uh, the first auto in box three was Jesus Achoa. That was uh, one of the um, um, the 40th anniversary ones. And then the second autograph was the Carolyn Monroe. Okay, here's our golden eye gold. Card number 17. 59 of 125. I think that's why I switched over to non-sport. You know, you don't have to worry. I mean, the hype is in the product itself. It's not in because there's Chris Bryant or, you know, Tweed or whoever in it, you know, that's causing some kind of a weird. There's our Skyfall insert. Making everybody go crazy. Just showing. Got like a good old, uh, what's his name? Blofeld. Right, here's our Quantum of Solace Gold, card number 46. And this is number 2 of 125. All right, here's a question. So these serial numbered cards. So how people like to, you know, get the number one or, you know, if it's in sports, you get the jersey number. So in this product, if you get number seven, does it uh, carry any, uh, any premium? Especially since uh, when they number them, they number like this one's two. So it says 002. I don't know if I can it'll focus in on something that small. There you go. So you'd actually would have 007. All right, so we are So we are just waiting on our two autographs out of box number 4. My biggest problem with non-sport, though, is that like the artists and some of the, especially on the TV shows, the actors and actresses, if I have not seen an interview with them, I don't know how to pronounce some of their names. So I feel bad when I try and pronounce somebody's name because I just, I haven't heard you on, you know, heard it said. All right, here's an autograph, I think. Nope. That oh, was just a it was a golden eye. Mm. Only a couple of packs left here.
especially like those the Hobbit cases. You know, some of the some of the uh, the actors' names in that. All right, we're down to four packs, and I did not pull one autograph yet. going on here. Yeah, and if anybody's interested, there's a, so I've got a case of Hobbit. Hopefully it'll be the last one. I'm getting a little Hobbited out. All right, so we got autograph number one. That's the, uh, 40th anniversary and now we got two 40th anniversaries the only advantage to these is that they're numbered so it's easy to look them up the other ones on the checklist they're not even in order not listed and limited. Okay, so first we got ourselves Christopher Namey Name. Is that's what I mean? Uh, and then second we have Rachel McDowell or McDowell. And the only advantage, well, not advantage, but the good thing is that when we got shorted on the Hobbit case, that was actually pretty quick. We got the other um, the redemptions in maybe three weeks, so I was pretty happy with that. And they they did good buys with the uh, with the replacements. I mean, we all expected to get four total scrubs, but we got a a Thor in and a what was the other one? We get a Keeley. Well, that's what got me back in the non-sport. I mean, I wasn't collecting anything. And then, uh, you know, I would just go into this one local card store every uh, every now and again. Just I'd buy a pack or two or whatever came out just to see what things looked like. And then I saw the 2007 uh, Marvel Masterpieces that Upper Deck had put out. And, I mean, that's I used to collect the Marvel Masterpieces, and that really uh, got me back into it. And then I bought a couple of boxes from Blowout. And the rest is history. Okay, we got a gold golden eye, card number 38, serial number 009, almost. Well, if you take the 002 and the 009 and subtract them, you'll get 007. Oh, and then here's our other gold. Quantum of Solace, card number 59. And hey, look at that. Serial number 007. So that's neat. Yeah, I gotta take a look. Um, I don't. Uh, I mean, look, I'm. You know, this isn't a business or anything, but I gotta see if there's something else I can use besides UStream that. Uh, um, that doesn't have the ads in it, or at least maybe they're like banner ads instead of, you know, flat out cutting off the video. 
And there is our Skyfall. Well, group breaking, no. Um, I've probably been group breaking for about two years, but I've only ever done non-sport. So a lot of stuff's been coming out recently that's just made me break a lot. I actually really started, I was doing the PSA uh, submissions for people to get their cards slabbed, but... Um, that, <laughs> that takes so much work. Like I said, this isn't a business. I'm not doing it to make money. So I just would, you know, charge whatever it costs to do this stuff. So I was putting in hours and hours making sure everybody's cars were sorted out and labeled properly and in the right holders and all that kind of crap for... And then, you know, at the end of the day, I <laughs> was... And, you know, maybe at the end of a submission, I might make 20 bucks. I mean, at least with these. I mean, I'm, again, I don't, I, I'm not making any money on these. So, you know, I just, at least I have the fun of opening up the cards and talking with everybody and, you know, pulling, trying to pull some, some good stuff for everybody. Autograph. Packs. All right, last pack, and all right. I would think that one would be a at least a very limited. Okay, so in the last box we got two of the 40th anniversaries, and then in this box we got two of the full bleeds. So first, we got... Oh, yeah. David Hedison, and he is a limited... All right, now this one I would think would be at least very limited, and it is very limited. Maud Adams. <laughs> yeah, I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how, like these big breaker guys, how they somehow actually make money doing this. You can quit my job and just uh, work at home doing breaks all day. I'm going to start from the bottom only because it seems like the autographs are in the very bottom. If I hit one early on then I'll flip them back over so we don't uh, sit through opening up a bunch of packs and nothing. Now this card's dinged. It's just one of the base cards. Okay, autograph. 
If they're overcharged, like, what are you overcharging? Like, I, you know, like, I just, I mean, if I'm going to join, when I join a break and I see that a case is a thousand dollars and there's a hundred spots and the guy's charging, you know, ten dollars a spot plus, you know, say it comes out to five bucks for, you know, shipping and stuff. I mean, it seems plausible to me. But if I see that it's twenty-five dollars a spot, and I just don't join. Okay, gold, golden eye, card number ninety-six. Serial number 85. You know what? Extra $30 a case, four or five breaks a day. So that's $120 a day. But the thing that you got to take into account, and this is what I figured out, is hundred twenty dollars a day so you got I mean I don't know how fast or slow I am opening up packs compared to you know some big time breaker but you got um, say at minimum you're talking an hour and 15 minutes gold quantum of solace number 57 so if you say an hour and a half and you're talking just say four a day at six hours. So now right off the bat, now you're talking that's twenty dollars an hour, which isn't terrible. And that's just opening them. Then you gotta sort them, put them all in holders, and uh, that's a skyfall insert, and um, and then pack them. So when it's all said and done, you're pretty much making minimum wage. The epic shield, my shield break? Believe me, if I didn't enjoy opening up cards and, like I said, seeing all the stuff that comes out and pulling, I would not be doing this. I go get a job. <laughs> exactly. I like I like breaking. I mean, I I have fun, and I figure this way I can break cards <laughs> and it doesn't cost me anything to see what comes out of this stuff. And then to say that you know whoever had a good spot and a break and I end up. Pulling a really nice card, you know that that's the that's the fun of it all. That's that's what makes keeping this a hobby a hobby. Once it stops become a hobby, it stops becoming a hobby. It's not fun anymore. Well, recently. Um, the uh, the shield the shield break was a lot of fun because except for uh, Chloe Bennett they got all the signers and even the the hard ones weren't except for that Kobe Smolders that they threw in in the last second you know it wasn't that hard to pull them so I mean I thought that was a lot of fun that everybody had really decent chances of pulling you know getting the Clark Gregg or the um, uh, Patton Oswalt. That was my big thing. Like I wish I joined the one I the one case I joined in Shield. I got a a pretty low pick, but if I had gotten a high pick, I would have taken Patton Oswalt just because I thought that would have been a fun autograph to have. Pulled a couple of good um, sketches out of Marvel Premiere. Oops. 
Now, this is something I don't like to see. So we are halfway through, and we pulled a double autograph. Uh, Carl McChrystal. So he's obviously, he's not labeled because he is um, extra plentiful, <laughs> not uh, extra limited. All right, and then we got uh, limited, uh, did we pull this guy too? Shane Rimmer? I, I don't remember already. The thing is, when you open up cases, you, you're expected to get certain things. So I, you know, I mean, I would guess the good sketches are probably your best hits. You know, some of the some of the sketches out of the hobby cases were really good. Uh, a couple of the sketches out of Marvel Premiere were really good. Okay, gold, golden eye, card number 33, serial number 95. I think that's, the, when you say like your best hits, I think that's one of the biggest differences in breaking sports and non-sports is when you break sports, that's the thing. I mean, that's the allure in those breaks is that you can pull some some prospect who's going to net you some crazy cash and then be an absolute dud because he ends up, you know, destroying his body or gets caught doing something or just doesn't pan out. But when you get to the, uh, the sky fall insert, when you get to the uh, non-sports, you know, you just have, you just go by your character level, you know, like a Wolverine or Deadpool, you know, Spider-Man. They're always going to be the big draws. And then when it comes to the sketches, it's just how the quality of the sketch and the artist. Quantum of Solace, Gold 77, serial number 94. Yeah, and like I said, Nick, I'll, I'll get it up. Um... I forget the people that are watching U7. If any of you live in the Northeast near, you know, in the area where I live, but every uh, every summer we take a couple of days and we take the kids to a, an amusement park over um, called Knobles, and it's a it's a nice little amusement park that's very family friendly and fun, and it's not crazy and there aren't. 10 hour lines like when you go to Six Flags or something like that. So that's where we're going tomorrow and Friday and part of Saturday. And it's not too far away for what it is. It's like a, for my house, it's like a two, two and a half hour drive. But yeah, I should be able to, you know, Saturday or Sunday, I should be able to put, put in for it and uh, they've been, been they've been pretty quick in approving. I guess the more breaks you do, and as my eye trader starts going up, and you know, I don't have any problems when I do my breaks, and they seem to approve mine pretty quick. Those the breaks for uh, the retro, the continuum, and the other Hobbit one. I mean, those things got approved in a couple of hours, and sometimes when the mods are busy, it might take. Uh, you know, a couple of days before it gets approved. Who is you, uh, streamer four seven six two? Oh, I'm Aaron. Okay, and I just missed that one. That's I went. I went to the Keys on my honeymoon. It's the last time I've been uh, on a plane. We were just talking about that at work today. He's never seemed to get a chance to go away. We stayed uh, in Marathon. Uh, what's that called? Duck Key, I think was the name of the place, the resort. 
It was like right in the middle. So we rented a car and it was like like a two, two and a half hour drive to Miami and like a two hour drive to uh, Key West. It's a really nice place. That was uh, nice to get away. I guess it's bound to happen in, in some products, but uh, you know, when you start getting duplicate autographs, um, here's uh, Shane Rimmer again. So we know he's an extra unlimited. All right, and then for our full bleed, let's see. Uh, Limited Blanche Ravalek. Nice, that's Hey, what they got the plastic seal tight on these. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Damn it, just slice that box open. We are on box eight. And uh, we have yet to hit an EL. So I mean, I guess that means when we do, they'll be that much better. Um, let's see how many autographs. So according to this checklist, one, two, three, four. Five. Uh, I count 19 of the 40th anniversary. And 27 full bleed. And Russell, as usual, I forget about the wrappers when it comes to uh, written house stuff. Uh, yeah, that I'll there'll be an extra hit. Um, Golden Eye Gold number 98 and serial number 12. One of these days, I'm gonna not forget that the wrappers. Has some uh, value. Yeah, uh, if you go to the Rittenhouse website, uh, whoever asked about the points, uh, it's Aaron, um, which is uh, the Rittenhouse website. It's sci fi hobby.com. Um, they have a point rewards program where what you do is, is you mail the wrappers in, each wrapper is worth two points, and then usually what they'll have. Now I don't know about this product because there aren't a whole lot of there aren't really any inserts. I mean, I guess the Skyfall expansion would be the big would be the insert. Um, so they uh, usually it's three hundred points is the value, and then uh, for a card and it'll be an extra card. So if there's twelve cards in the in the set that you can pull out of the pack, there'll be card thirteen. And for 300 points, or you know, 150 wrappers, you can uh, get it. Now, there's also there'll be extra autographs. You just got to go on the website and see what they have because it's always it's all limited too. You know, they only they only make a certain amount of them, so that way, you know, it holds the value for what you uh, you know for spending the money to save the packs. 
sometimes you can get an autograph, but it might be like 900 points or 1,500 points. And then the, uh, when Rittenhouse puts out their premium products, those wrappers I think are worth 15 points a piece. I've submitted some, I have points, but I've never actually redeemed them. I always forget. Hopefully they don't expire, because I, I turned them in and I had them in my account for years now. All right, so the Skyfall card. I mean, I know it's a base card. What is this? Card number 10. This one, it's all scratched up. Yeah, I don't think they'll be up that quickly, um, but you can look at past stuff, and sometimes they even keep up the cards that are out, so you can just see what there was. All right, our first autograph. But if you really want a autograph or you know a card, and you don't have the points, you can not from them, but you you know on eBay people sell their wrappers too. I mean, think about it. You got a case worth of wrappers here, so. Uh, so you got almost 600 points if you were to get the wrappers. All right. Quantum of Solace, number 56, serial number 42. Yeah, and sometimes there's actually some really nice stuff. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but if, if you were to check, like, say, Star Trek, I think there was a Star Trek autograph of, you know, somebody big that you could have gotten at some point in time. I am thinking, the more I open this, that this product is not going to have an extra autograph. A lot of times they'll have one box or two that has an extra, but I'm thinking these things seem to be pretty cookie cutter. Alright, so we got... Alright. We got... Matthew Amalric. And Joni Flynn. Four boxes to go. And still no EL.
All right, golden eye gold card number twenty three, serial number forty seven. Got to be honest, this this product, I don't know, it's kind of not doing anything for me. I think it needs a, some more inserts. Maybe uh, I think it's it's more of like a like a real classic subdued design, which I guess some people would like. You know, there's not anything. You know, it's a, a simple border. You know, good pictures. But uh, you know, maybe uh, some kind of a costume card, or you know, something along those lines. I mean, I like the movies. I've seen them all many, many times. But, I mean, like I said, I don't really, I never really opened, this is the first time I've opened James Bond cards. Skyfall. Um, but wasn't there a, uh, that was the one product. It came out maybe like two years ago now, I think. Where uh, wasn't there? I don't know if it was Redemption or if it was Pack. All right, autograph, and that is a double. I'll say, damn it, uh, David Hedison. Oh, I'm not gonna make you wait since it's a double. But uh, wasn't there like you got like pieces of windshield? glass or something like that. Quantum of Solace, gold number 65, serial number 77. Right. Three packs left. Autograph is in one of these. Two packs left. Autograph is in one of these. There it is.
I hope these autographs are different enough from all these duplicates so that I don't, so I can separate them. All right, we got 277. This is limited. Rufus Wright. Three boxes to go, and like I keep saying, no EL. So the question that I would ask then is, I'm sure that there isn't any kind of a guarantee of getting an EL. The only guarantee is that it's two autographs per box, which we're you know definitely getting. And the uh, and so far, all of the auto. Oh, now that just changed that that autograph is not on the bottom. I'm gonna say all the autographs have been on the, the bottom couple of packs, and. Uh, Gold, Golden Eye, card number 102, serial number 104, Carl McChrystal, and that would be number three. This is probably the biggest disappointment being a breaker. You know, I want to. I want to always pull great cards for everybody. I mean, what's the fun in pulling duds? But now that autograph was on the top. What I was about to say, right before I opened that, was that all the autographs have always been on the bottom. So maybe that one's an extra autograph. Skyfall insert. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it, it's a crapshoot. And I mean, hopefully these last three boxes, or two and a half boxes now, you know, redeem a little bit because this case is bruh. And you gotta, at the minimum, get one EL out of a, out of a case. Okay, gold quantum of solace, card number 80, serial number 109. And I mean, I'm a fan of the movies, but um, I mean, most of these people by name, I would never know. Maud Adams was the one I knew. Uh, I thought maybe she might be something a little bit better, but she was not. So, at minimum, we've got one more autograph coming out of this box. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there will be two autographs. Excuse me for one quick second. I'm going to take a drink.
Well, that was the one thing about the uh, with the shield break is that there was two <clears throat> two ELs that were my well, one of them was just a I mean like a minor minor character, and then one of them was you know a supporting character, not one of the means. So you know, not, the EL only it's the only indication is just the quantity of autographs that they uh, sign. So you know you get a, an EL. In Shield, it was uh, Titus Welver, which I don't even remember. Uh, I don't even remember him in the show. I mean, I had to. I mean, it was season one, so I was behind a little bit. Uh, I mean, all I remember him was. Uh, all right. All I remember, uh, he does the Comcast commercials. The guy in the suit with the monotone voice. All right, so we still only got the two autographs. I was hoping for more. Um, I had already looked this one up from before. This is a it's a VL, but at least it's somebody that we know. At least I know. Uh, it's Sheena Easton. Don't know how old you guys are that are watching this. She did a little bit of acting, not a whole lot. She, uh, you know, I know, you know, obviously she's a singer. I think she had a recur, she and Easton had a recurring role on uh, the Highlander TV show. Somebody, I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long now. Gold, Golden Eye, card sixty-seven, serial number one hundred six. Yeah, I guess. She didn't have the Pat Benatar had those like big eyes. I think uh, I think Prince wrote all her songs when she had her her popular string in the 80s. Skyfall. Remember, she used to wear a headband or not? I know that. Uh, what's her name? Olivia Newton John. She used to wear headbands. At least that's an autograph we uh, don't have. Yeah, oh well, yeah, well, Pat Benatar definitely wore uh, headbands too. 
But I, just, I don't remember if Sheena Easton did. Did she wear one on Love is a Battlefield? I know she I know she wore one when she did hit me with your best shot. God, talk about dating yourself. Yeah, I started talk I started talking to somebody and I finally made me feel old. I, uh, I'm the vice president of my son's soccer organization, and, and then I, that also entitles me to have to do all the fundraising and beg for stuff. So we're, we're doing a, these beef and beers and Chinese auctions coming up in a couple of months. So uh, everybody wanted a band, so I booked a band. Quantum of Solace Gold 45, serial number 79. And it turns out the the guy who fronts the band he uh, he was friends with people that my family was friends with, like we're friendly. So I was started talking about people, and it turns out that like I started talking about stuff he wasn't even born yet because he's only like twenty seven. I was like, that's the first time I actually felt old. <laughs> yeah. Then whoever won that dance off got to date the people that won the dance off and uh, and beat it, right? I got a good feeling in these last two packs. Don't let me down. <laughs> what was it? I'm trying to think. It's a little bit before 1986. I'm. I'm it sounds like. Uh, I think Russell. I think you and me. We might not be too far off in age, but uh, yeah, I remember my first comics. Uh, they were. I, I want to say they were 75 cents. All right. Uh, don't know how to pronounce this name. Joey Chitwood. Let's see if, uh, all right, is there something on this card? I don't know, it's just the design. All right, uh, come on. All right, just a limited, damn it. Stanley Morgan, Dr. No. Uh, we are on our last box. And honestly, we haven't pulled jack of any of anything that I would consider worthy. So I mean not a not a case hit. In my opinion, you know, I would I mean an EL would be a case hit to me. Yeah, you know, a lot of them, they'll say who they were. Yeah, they, I mean, he's an extra, because it says, he doesn't even have a name. Stanley Morgan is concierge. Golden Eye Gold, number 46, serial number 68. 
Um, I don't know if I'll get a response. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about Rittenhouse, but the one or two times that I've emailed them, asking them questions, like I've never had to, I've never emailed them asking them about, you know, hey, I think I got a messed up product, but just asking them general questions, they aren't usually too quick to answer, but, uh, Skyfall. So I mean, I can uh, I can at least shoot an email and just say, hey, or should you at least get one EL in a case? We barely got any very limiteds in the case. Of course, the uh, of course the other case that probably was right after this one when they were packing them packing the boxes probably has five uh, ELs. Well, I mean, the only thing I can say is that they can't all be winners. Autograph. Now, for curiosity's sake, I'm going to look it up now nope that one's just a limited Even if even if we pull a again, even if we pull a, a big autograph, I mean there's no there's no middles. I mean unless some of these people are they have some sort of collectability, you know, outside of, of uh, you know being an extra in a movie that would you know cause their uh, their card to be worth something. Quantum of Solace, number six, and number 14 is the serial number. I mean, honestly, with what I'm seeing, and I haven't looked up, you know, any values, but just based on what's what, I would probably take the Maude Adams only because I know who she is. And then after that, I'd probably take the golds and then I would take the wrappers. Only well, because I know I could save up the wrappers for something else. Three packs.
I'm going to open up the bottom pack first because I think the autograph is always in the second to bottom. Might as well save it for the last pack. Not autographs in there. I did not look to see who it was. It is a 40th anniversary version autograph, so I know that much. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it was somebody. And I don't know who this is. I can already tell you he's a dud because he doesn't have a name. That is really disappointing. All right, uh, our full bleed is Samantha Bond. And it's not, there we go. And our 40th anniversary, uh, let me just look just for the fun of it here. He's not, he doesn't have a designation as to what his, if he's limited, not limited. But uh, Anthony Forrest, and he is a bomb disposal officer. All right, I got a serious question now I'm going to ask you guys that are watching this. Do I scan these still, or do I just list them? I mean, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to scan them. I mean, we've got, when we get to that Carl McChrystal and the, uh, the Sheen Rimmer. Oh, you know, the Sheen Easton autograph. Actually, I would probably take that one first. I just want to see. Uh, actually, let me put the full bleeds because I so I can do them. Shane Rimmer, Shane Rimmer, Carl McChrystal. All right, so there was three of the Carl McChrystals. Two Shane Rimmers. Everybody else we got one of. And that's just the, uh, the 40th anniversary versions. And then I think there's just the one double of... Uh, of the guy, uh, can't think of what his name was. It was David Hedison. Let me just make sure. All right. So, all right, so we, we didn't get as many doubles as it seemed. I mean, getting three of one guy in a case is not cool. And then the two doubles. Uh, I'm going to shoot an email to, to Rittenhouse. I mean, it can't hurt. So, uh, thanks for joining in on the break. I'll scan them now. I'll get them up in the thread. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be around tomorrow or Friday, and actually for part of Saturday. I'll be back Saturday night. Um, you can uh, please pick away. It'll make it easier on me, but I will not have a draft, my own draft list up until sometime Saturday night, and we can start the draft clock on Saturday night. So thanks again, and let me get this thing saved. See you guys later.